Hey there everyone, this is Jessica from DomesticatedMe.com. If you're new to my channel, welcome, bienvenidos. My name is Jessica Flores and I am a beauty-obsessed, fashion-loving, DIY project-making Latina mom from New York City and I blog and vlog at Domesticated Me. Today's video is a little different, but I'm so excited to share this experience with you. And if you've seen the title of this video, you know what it's all about. I got new piercings while I was in Los Angeles for the Sephora Sephoria event. I went by myself and so I decided I wanted to make the best of my weekend and looked into things that I wanted to do and see and experience and something that I've been thinking for a long time was to add piercings to my ears. If you've been watching me you probably know, if you're a subscriber for a while you probably are familiar with my piercings. I have two on each lobe and then I have two um, at the top of my ear on just the left ear. Um, now if piercings aren't your thing, I get it if you have you know, all kinds of feelings about it. I get it. Just, you probably might want to exit out of this video and then watch something else on my channel. But if you like piercings or you're just interested in hearing what happened and my background, then let's keep going. <laughs> so I am Latina, I'm Colombian and Ecuadorian. I was raised with my Colombian family and piercings are a big part of our culture and tradition on um, my Colombian side specifically I'm talking about we pierce our daughters within the first year of life so actually we just within a few months so Catalina's ears are pierced Clara's ears are pierced I got my ears pierced when I was a baby um, for my daughters I had the conversation with the doctor and encourage you to do the same thing with your pediatrician make sure ask them when's the best time to do it if you know they have recommendations if they have people that they recommend etc talk about the consequences the problems that could arise talk it all over with your pediatrician if you think about piercing your daughter's ears or your children's ears um so um i after this year catalina got a second set of ears pierced uh, a second set of low piercings because she wanted it Clara got her ears pierced and then I was thinking about adding more so unfortunately I didn't look into it I don't know why I just thought that there was just one way to pierce your ears and it was the way that I was familiar with since before my birth throughout these you know the 31 years of life that I've been on this planet but actually no and the more that I re researched I kept seeing this one name come out uh, it was one name come up and that was Brian Keith Thompson who is this amazing celebrity piercer from Los Angeles and I was looking at his videos and doing research and I found out that um, doing an, ears pier an ear piercing with the gun is not the best way because basically you're just using a lot of blunt force to create this hole through your lobe and if you've had your ears pierced, if you've seen it done before, your ears, when you get it with the gun, it just turns red, like bright red the whole ear, and like you get it, it's blunt force. So what Brian recommends and what a lot of people recommend is to actually get it pierced with a professional piercer who uses a needle. So Keith is one of these experts in piercings and he's phenomenal, he's amazing, and he's a great artist. And what he's f famous for is his constellations his constellation piercings. So constellation piercings is probably what you're imagining. He looks at your ear and based on his aesthetic and your ear shape and his experience and him being a an ear stylist basically, he decides where he's gonna place your piercings. And there's no real like pattern or rhyme or reason, it's just aesthetically what's beautiful. And so he will place piercings all over your ear and you look like the stars with the little you know sprinkling of piercings it's very beautiful very popular he's done Beyonce as you can tell but from the title he's done Scarlett Johansson um, Jennifer Lawrence he's done a ton of celebrities and that is what he's known for so his shop is in Los Angeles I was visiting Los Angeles and my curiosity and my desire to get more piercings just took over and I made my appointment and headed right to the shop when I got into Los Angeles so when I went to the shop, I spoke to Brian and he said, what's your budget and what's your style and all that. Now I mistakenly said I didn't have a budget and what I really meant was that I didn't really think about having a budget, but yeah, that not having a budget is not the right term because he started showing me some diamonds and I was like, um, wait, can we not go right into the diamond section? So he's like, okay, so then you do have a budget. What do you want to spend? What's your style? Are you simple or do you, like, what do you want? So. Um, I said, you know what, I'm comfortable spending around $500. After speaking with him, I learned that the average Brian client spends $1,000. So 
the way that it works is that each piercing is $50 and then the bill can go up and up based on the jewelry that you pick. So I told him that I was very simple. Um, I showed him my ear and he said, you know what, it would look great with a little tragus piercing and then I could do a little stack. And I just like, yes, of course. So he showed me and I'm just so happy with it. For the next portion of this video, I'm gonna show you the shop and then show you the actual piercing experience. We want to be old, and then once we get old, we want to be young. We're always, we're always 
want to take a moment to warn you that the audio and the music will be a little bit off for this portion, and that's because after I uploaded it to YouTube, I received a copyright claim because of the song that was playing in the background. I still want to keep some of the audio so you could hear a little bit of the interaction. So I'm just going to play a copyright-free song over that audio. It'll be a little muffled, but I hope that you can still hear it. The moment you've been waiting for. Here is my curated ear by Keith Brian Thompson. I decided to keep my actual piercings. I really recommend that if you want a constellation piercing, just take all your earrings off and then let him see your ear clean without anything on it and then he can tell you where to place them. Um, he just added to what I have. So I don't have a constellation piercing. He just added some pieces based on my style and what I have. So I'm keeping my two piercings from down below. Um, I don't have anything in the lowest piercing hole. I have my little um, 18 karat gold clothes hanger because I'm a fashion addict. I love fashion. So that if you're interested in these, DM me. Let me know. 18 karat gold, good stuff. But anyway, so, um, so he added a stack, which are li these little simple dots beautiful tiny little dots and then my tragus is a little triangular um, piercing and it's so beautiful and I'm still keeping these two I'm going to change these out I've decided but I'm not sure when I am now like into piercing so I'm thinking about adding more Brian said he might be coming back to New York City in December so I'm starting to save up some money 
so that I can go back to him and then add a few pieces. So the experience was great. Brian, I was so nervous. I don't know why I was nervous. I think I was more nervous about meeting him and interacting with him. Uh, what's great about him is that you look at him and you can think that he's like some like, I don't know, like he's intimidating a little bit when you look at him, but he's such a nice, cool guy. I really, really, really loved my experience there. And everyone in the shop is so nice and lovely. So um, yeah, don't don't be nervous if you go to him. I was nervous, I think more because I was like, oh, he's such a great artist and I'm here. And uh, but he was super nice and jokey and fun. And so yeah, he might be coming back in December. So I really would like to go back to see him and add a few more piercings. Um, I'll share which ones maybe a little later in a vlog, but there you go. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and share and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and click that little bell icon so that you're notified as soon as my videos go out. If you are part of that notification squad, you will get an email right to your inbox as soon as my videos are published. I publish new videos every single week, about two to three videos a week. Hopefully I'm sticking to that schedule for a long time, but yes. And also use that comment section below. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, are you thinking about getting your ears pierced? Um, please let me know or just say hi because I love to hear from you guys. Click or tap right here to watch my last video or click down below to watch another video that you might enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned.